Hello everyone, welcome back to our Power BI channel. Here we are covering DAX functions in this series. In the previous four videos, we have completed date and time functions. And from today's class, we will study next category of DAX functions, which are filter functions. So guys, filter functions are more useful and very powerful in Power BI. They are mostly used in while making reports. So let's start the class guys. So here are the topics and we will cover only these DAX functions in our today's tutorial. So firstly I'll start with this calculate function. So guys calculate function is the boss of all the DAX functions because we can create multiple DAX function with the help of this calculate. And this function I have already explained in my Power BI full course playlist. So this is a separate playlist guys. So I will explain one more time. So let's go to the practical page. So guys, let's suppose client requirement is they want to see only USA sales in numbers. So we can create this kind of requirement through this calculate function. So let's quickly create one measure here. And I will rename this measure as a USA sales. And now I will write my measure. So first of all, I will type calculate. And now guys, look at the parameter. So the first parameter is expression. And under expression parameter, I will write my expression guys, which is sum of sales. And close the bracket, comma. And under filter guys, I will write my column name simply which is country. And now we need to put equal to sign. And now I will write inverted comma. And under inverted comma, I will type USA. So this is case sensitive guys. So you need to keep in mind and close the inverted comma. And close the bracket and let's press enter. And let me take one card visual from here and let me resize. And now I will drag and drop this measure here. So go to the callout value and change it to the actual figure. So the total sales is 24,800. And if you want to cross check guys, so go to the data view and select country column and click on this filter button and uncheck all the countries. And I will select here only USA. So let me open my calculator here. So if I add the sales column, which is 8000 plus 3800 plus 3500 plus 3000 plus 2500 plus 4000. So guys, our output is totally correct. And now guys, let's change the requirement here. Let's suppose this time client wants to see the sales of USA, but for the Florida state, not for the whole USA. So let me go here in this measure and remove this bracket and I will put it comma here. So look at the parameter guys, which is filter to. So we can add the state column name here. So I will enter state column equal to and let's start the inverted comma and I will write here Florida and close the bracket and guys if I write one more comma here so you can see we have filter 3. So in this way you can add multiple filters here with the help of calculate. It's totally depend on requirement guys. So for now only I will remove this comma and close the bracket and press enter. So see guys our Florida sale is 11,800. So if I click here on Florida 8,000 plus 3,800 which is 11,800. So in this way guys we can use this calculate function in Power BI. This is the most powerful function in Power BI. And now let's move toward the next DAX function, which is calculate table. 
so guys with the help of calculate table we can fetch out the separate table of particular record record it could be anything like product country names region city and so on so here we will fetch out the records only for australia so let's go to the practical page guys and let's create one table from here where we can see only australia records so guys this is a table manipulation function so we cannot use this function with measure or calculated column so let me show you guys to apply this function with measure so firstly i will take new measure from here and let me rename this measure as calculate table and now i will use my formula which is calculate table so here we guys can see we have two parameters the first one is table so my table name is sales comma the second parameter is filter so i will apply filter on country column so i will simply write country equal to and now i will write australia because i want to fetch out only australia records and close the bracket so guys if we are using this function with measure so it will give you this error which is the expression referred to multiple columns multiple columns cannot be converted into scalar value so we can't apply this function with measure or calculated column so let me copy this measure and i will go to the modeling tab and from here guys i will take new table because we are creating a new table of australia and now i will paste this measure and press enter so here we can see guys our new table has added and if i click here on filter button so we guys can see only australia records are here not any other records so in this way guys we can use this calculate table and now move towards the next dax function which is filter so guys with the help of filter function we can also fetch out the separate table with particular record and this is also a table manipulation function guys so we cannot take measure or calculated column here it will give you the same error like scalar value so this time i will create separate table for india so again i will go here in modeling tab and click on new table and i will rename this table as india and now i will write my function name which is filter so here are two parameters the first one is table and the second one is filter expression so under table parameter i will select the table name which is sales comma and under filter expression i will write my column name which is country because i want to apply filter on india and india record is in country column and now i will put equal to sign and start inverted comma and here i will write india and inverted comma close and close the bracket and press enter so we can see guys our india table has created here here we can only see the india records so in this way guys you can use this filter functions and let's suppose you want to add more records from the same column so you can also do that suppose i also want to add one more record here under this table so i want to add china so what i'll do i'll just remove this bracket enter space here and add two pipeline with shift button and now i will write my column name which is country and under country i want to enter china and close the bracket so we can see guys we have a records of india and china so in this way you guys can add multiple records with pipeline and now let's move towards the next dax function which is keep filter so keep filter is nothing guys is just keeping the filter on a particular record so let's understand this concept with practical so go to the practical page and now let me take one table visual from here 
and here i will take country column which is from the sales table and i will also take sales column which is again from the sales table and now i will take one measure here which we have created with the help of calculate function so the measure was usa sales which is 11800 and now let me increase the size of these values and now i will increase the header size let me drag it here and now i will copy this measure and i am adding new measure from here and let me paste it and now i am removing this florida from here i just only want to see the usa sales and press enter and now we guys can see it is displaying only usa sales which is 24800 and now let me copy this measure and i will go here in new measure and paste it here so let me rename this measure as keep filter and after the comma and i will enter keep filter here and close the bracket and now let me drag and drop this measure here so guys it's keeping filter on this particular column which is usa so if you want to change here from india so it will keeping the filter only on india records it will not displaying like this sales in each and every record so it is helpful to improve your performance of your model and it's better than normal filter and now guys let's move towards the last jax function of our today's class which is remove filter so guys as a name suggests remove filters ignoring the filter from particular table or column so we can remove the filtration with the help of this function so let's understand this remove filter with practical so go to the practical page and let me remove measures from this visual so i am removing key filter usa sales and now i am taking one slicer from here and i will drag and drop this country column which is from the sales table so guys if i click here on india so you guys can see it is filtering only india sales and if i click here on usa so it is displaying only usa sales that means it is filtering correctly so guys if i want to remove the filtration from this sales table or the country column so we have one dax functions in power bi which is remove filtration so let's quickly apply this dax function go here in new measure let me rename this remove filter and now i will write my dax with calculate so i will write calculate so under expression i will use sum and here i will enter column name which is sales and close the bracket comma and now i will enter my dax formula which is remove filters so here we can see guys we have two parameters so we can select the column name as well as the table name so i will select column name here which is country and close the bracket so here is the measure guys and now let me drag and drop it here so see guys it is displaying the total records of all country if you click here on usa so we can't see the usa sale it is displaying the total sales which is 114200 so here is the total sales guys of all the countries so if you click here on china so it will displaying 114200 so in this way guys we can remove the filtration from any column or table 
so i hope guys now you have cleared with all the dax function which we have studied so far so keep practicing guys and keep learning and stay connect with us for more learning about power bi and those who are new to this channel kindly hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon else you will miss an update and if anyone wants to learn power bi from scratch so here is the channel guys which name is power bi full course by shubham and here i have explained each and every concept in detail under this 50 tutorials so don't forget to press the like button and guys we also provide paid training as well as free job support so you guys can connect me on linkedin linkedin link is given under the description box so thank you so much guys for your more love and support